And coming off the second largest tally in the five-year history of its deer management program, Syracuse City Hall plans to add a new method to go even deeper into neighborhoods overrun with deer. News Channel 9's Jeremy Skiba explains how it will work and what neighbors think about it. Mike Becker and his family enjoy watching deer roam through their yard. But on Standish Drive, he says there are just too many. What people don't realize are the amount of deer that we have. So there was one day we had 12 go through. About an hour later, we had 16 go through. So we're overpopulated here. Though it's an annoyance for him when they nibble on his plants, deer have also caused dangerous situations in his neighborhood. Last year, we had two accidents within a week of deer crossing the road, people hitting them. Along with the continued use of sharpshooters, the city of Syracuse is also implementing a new pilot program in certain areas of the city, not using firearms. Deer uh, enter a net-like trap and um, a wildlife manager is immediately alerted that the deer is there and then they're able to euthanize the animal using what's called a captive bolt firearm device. Lowe says it will be easier to target hotspots using this method. We hope we'll be able to accomplish reduction of deer population in neighborhoods that so far have only seen increases in numbers. But some people think that euthanasia is unnecessary. It seems like maybe if they're going to trap them, they could move them to, uh, I don't know, Jamesville Park, you know, Jamesville Beach, some someplace further out in the country. Hoping for a more humane solution to a growing problem. In Syracuse, Jeremy Skiba, News Channel 9. And Lowe says venison from the deer will be donated to the Food Bank of Central New York. A meeting on this plan scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning in Common Council Chambers, and you'll have a chance to comment there.